Switzerland. The service jumps with Petra Schoenborn, Germany. Terrific day here in Vanta, Finland, the Arctic Open quarterfinals. What a mammoth effort by PV Sindhu and Tyler Nguyen in that women's singles. Men's singles up next, the top seed. That's left in the event, that is. Anna Zantensen from Denmark is up against Japan's Koki Watanabe. Well, there's the men's singles draw from quarterfinals. Lise Gier waiting in the semis already. And Seon Kantasiniyama through. No Victor Axelsson this week, withdrawn before the event. And uh, Viditsan retired in the third game of day one. So arguably, this man on your screen right now, Anna Zantensen, might be looked upon as the favourite. In a wide open men's singles field. More long rallies to come, I have absolutely no doubt. 56 minutes it took for that match, their last meeting at the quarter-finals of the red, Spain you? Madrid Masters. Black for you. Back in the spring. It is red. Uh, on the stage on the left. We see. And it was Anders Anderson that came through in a hard-fought straight games battle last time out. Quite like the new pink or pinkish white top Anna Zantensen's wearing. 26 years old now. From Aarhus in Denmark originally, number 10 in the rankings. But um, it's been up as high as two. And he fell out of top 10. All the way down to 30, in fact, at the beginning of the year. And that match, 89 minutes against Wang Hong Yang yesterday. He'll be feeling some fatigue, I've no doubt. He had a bye, effectively, a walkover in the first round. Koki Watanabe from uh, Koshigaya in Saitama, Japan. Uh, inside the top 30. He's the fourth ranked Japanese men's singles player. And uh, on paper, at least, Anna's Antonsen should be the strong favourite for this one, but what about that round one performance in 75 minutes? Wang Tsu Wei, no easy opponent. Take nothing away from Nat Nguyen either. So uh, Watanabe is having a good week. Ready to play. There's Switzerland's Rena Unt, our umpire in the chair for this one. <coughs> Petra Schomborn from Germany, our service judge. On 
Anders Andersen, Denmark. Anders Andersen to serve. Lavon. Play. Save from Antonsen. It's going to be a typically hard fought battle. Koki Watanabe, the runner. He's quick, he's defensive. But the last time they met, I don't think Antonsen was quite back in the form we've been used to seeing him in over the years. Kind of on his comeback, really, in the springtime this year. Back in form now, of course, bronze medal at the uh, recent World Championships in Copenhagen. That's his second bronze at, uh, at the Worlds, in fact. Had one in 21 in Huelva and a silver. Basel, Switzerland, back in 2019. Oh, terrific rally. Oh, it's fierce. That was superb from Alex Antonsen. What a smash. No time to get behind the shuttle. Executes the perfect winner. Oh, it's going wide. Watanabe hunting the lines, trying to find Five, one. an answer to Antonsen's all-round play. Covers the court so well in defence. And a tough attack. When he's at his best, Antonsen, he's right up there. Dane dictating that rally again. Six, one. Exquisite footwork from Antonsen. And shot making to match. Shot from Watanabe. Relishes the opportunity to get early on that flat lift.
Pretty pacey smash as well. 9, It's not all about the power, that measured drop shot to set up the kill. Oh. Very quick to challenge this, Anna Antonsen. I must admit, I thought the shuttle was long. I agree with Antonsen here, but the uh, line judge was quite quick with the call. Pretty far long. Correction out. Ten, two. Play. Out. It's gone wide again, Watanabe. Quite close to the perfect start for Anders Antonsen. <coughs> Just six minutes and a nine point lead already. Really does give that smash a crack these days, doesn't he, Antonsen? Watanabe's defence holding true this time. A nice deceptive drop to back it up. Watanabe needs to find an answer for that. He's too good in the mid-court, Antonsen. Strong forehand drive. Always been a good weapon of his. Oh, it's excellent from Anna's Antonsen again. Confident looking player. Made a touch easier this week by a couple of things. Top two seats. Wow. Shot from Watanabe. Yeah, the top two seats in the event. Well, one of them out before the uh, week started. The second. 
fell on day one. Had to withdraw in the third. Fit it time, I mean. Was playing against Christo Popov, just wide from Watanabe. So that uh, second seeded spot changed hands a few times. Popov through, lost to Leilan Shi, who lost to Kanta Suniyama, who's facing a very strong looking Un Young in tomorrow's semi final. Lizzie Gier battled through against Chico Wardoyo on this court a couple of days ago and um, got through against his teammate, Yong Jun Hao, earlier, who was promoted from the qualifiers. But a retirement in the third again for Jong has sent Lizzie Gier through. So he waits. Oh, he's missed Watanabe. All of that terrific effort. 17 4. What a net exchange this was. Well, a loose shot from Antonsen, actually, who smiles, knowing he got a bit lucky there. Yes, so Lizzie Gier waiting for the winner of this match in tomorrow's semi-final. Brilliant net shot this time. No criticism from me on this one. Look how tight this is from Antonsen, well below the tape. An easy knockoff. 18 4. Out. 19 4. Out. So, so uh, 5 90. Body smash used effectively. Six ninety. Not a bad length, really, from Antonson. Just caught by surprise. As Watanabe went for the body. Well, why not? All out attack. What have you got to lose at this stage? Seven ninety. Well, there's Watanabe again, trying to outdrive Antonsen. It's not the tactic. How so easy Antonsen made that look, seven. going back over his head. 13 game points. I think Watanabe allowing Antonsen oh. the privilege of attacking. Challenged, but I think the line judge got this one spot on. Challenge unsuccessful, one challenge remaining. So, so at eight, twenty. Applause. The efforts from Watanabe. A couple of times that smash winners provided some success. Still game point, remember? And as I say that, 
Antonsen closes out the opener. It was one-way traffic, really. Watanabe forces a few points towards the end. 21-9 scoreline. Shows us just where Anna's Antonsen is at the moment. Anna Antonsen getting back to his best form. Not quite yet showing in. Wow. Watanabe on the back foot, sent the wrong way by Antonsen's net quality. One love. Yeah, not quite showing in the rankings list. Top ten just about. But after that uh, Korea Open win earlier in the year and bronze at the World Championships. Got to the semis at the uh, All England, of course. You'd have to argue he's right up there. And I'll be very capable on occasion, though. I remember he did well in Japan a few months back. <coughs> and took the uh, Swiss Open title. Super 300 results. Had a pretty good week. Terrific length. You could see Watanabe Three, unsure. Up. From the moment he started moving backwards, his feet were all over the place. Well, he read that like a book. Antonsen was moving towards that backhand. For Watanabe even play. Look, look how early he is there. Oh. Touche, oh. says Watanabe. His turn to be early at the net.
actually. He was in a fairly neutral position. I don't think Antonsen's shot quality on that particular occasion was was right up there. Terrific smash. And a great follow-up from Antonsen. The accuracy of that. for the same result. Smash kill, because he went cross, had a little bit more ground to cover. serve, getting the better of Antonsen, who turns to the service judge. Just to confirm the serve was legal. No response. Oh, I thought he might challenge that. That was desperately close. smash well, I think the feathers of the shuttle might have clipped the line but the cork is the all-important feature Watanabe oh. taking the fight to Antonsen three smashes in a row the first two built the rally, this one with a short lift. He was never going to miss. Watanabe's game plan, all out attack. Five, and I can't blame him. In a neutral rally, Antonsen's been picking him apart since the beginning of the match. Athletic Zanson's in here, off the left leg. And again, the accuracy. Well left at the very last second.
Well, I think it might have had the better of Antonsen. Maybe the Dane. No, I think it was in hope. The fact he had to turn and would have had to play the backhand to get himself out of trouble if the shuttle was in. Still very much in control, Antonsen. Slightly different prospect this second game. Watanabe's pace the same, but it's the aggression, the intensity to get on the attack. Oh. And it's paying dividends. Quite finding it as easy to stay in charge of the rallies in this second game. Credit to uh, Watanabe. He's having to play a slightly more risky approach. Superb. The one time Antonsen goes defensive, he's in trouble. Didn't need to go up there. Could have just cut that down. Either straight or to middle. Well, the fist pump from Antonsen. Splendid. That return of serve. Difficult with the forehand grip he had as well. But a three point lead at the mid game break.
big concert from Anna Zantensen. So, oh. Despite the opening uh, game scoreline, Antonsen can't take uh, so, things for granted here. Then it was a near perfect performance from the Dane in the first. So. And he's too passive in this second game for me. I didn't see that in the first. He was taking control Eleven. at almost oh. every opportunity. the way of Antonsen, but he looks to his coach. And I don't think he was really happy. There's a sort of half wry grimace as if to say, yeah, I didn't need to give away the lift again. game plan. And well executed here. Great rally. Koki down and Antonsen can't find the floor. Nice turn, cross. Oh, it's a lovely net shot. Too good. Has to be the longest run of the match so far. And again, Anders Antonsen coming out on top. Look at that touch. Took that forehand. <laughs> Outrageous. Players back on board. What a backhand clear that was. He was late here, Koki. Backhand clear cross. Inch perfect. That takes terrific technique.
Well, another big hit from Watanabe, as you can see. Antonsen with one of his own. It's the net shot here for me. I can't see the shape Antonsen was in at the beginning of it. Look at that, the height off the floor. Something of a gamble here. But Koki Watanabe was in good position. 15, 16, this cross drive. Yeah. Wrong choice. It's not over yet. Excellent cross match winner from Watanabe. Sixteen. I think in a neutral rally, a bit more passive. Watanabe's got a good chance. I don't think Anna's Antonsen can afford. Keep giving away the attack against somebody like Koki Watanabe. That flicks hurts, causing Antonsen a few problems. I know he won the point there. 17, 16. He's not able to take the initiative like he'd want to when Koki's serving. Body again. Well, at the head, really.
game plan's not working for Anderson in the second. early. Nice skills at the net again. Must win point for the Dane to secure this in two. Good defence. Brilliant play. That was brave. Nineteen. Oh. Executed that reverse slice and what a follow-up. Outstretched Watanabe. off that net shot. More assertive from Antonsen. And that's the result. Terrific cut down. Well, it's taken 43 minutes. The crowd sends it. Anderson has one chance to seal it here and now. And a place in the semi-finals at stake. Excellent play. Watanabe's defence on point. and Arby survives. Didn't quite find the body rotation. Twenty all. on top of that mid-court battle again. Oh. A second match point. Again, Osanabi finds the answer. Really had Antonsen in trouble.
And it's Watanabe now. With a chance to force a decider. Resilient in this second. It's a confident looking Watanabe too. Had it for a moment. Oh, ho, ho, ho. The fist bump from Anderson, he still has a chance here. A big open space, wasn't there? for it again, and he's missed again. Say, Anna Zantensen threw that away to some extent. There were moments when Antonsen went too passive in the second and allowed this man to attack him. He's paid the consequence now. A deciding game looms for both. Koki Watanabe on serve, final game. And a real test for the mental strength of Anna Zantinson here. Physically, he looks like he's got the better of this man. The opening game was testament to that. Watanabe's forced him into a dogfight. And 
you can sense the belief now. Watanabe. <laughs> Staying confident, can take this on. Watanabe's defence stands the test somehow. Oh, that is terrific. Three, love. Antonson must be thinking, what on earth have I got to do to get through? There's 18 places between them in the world rankings. And they've played the same amount of tournaments, or just about. Oh! <laughs> well, the net court changed everything. Sometimes you just get the luck on your side. Challenge from Antonson. Well, he's fired up now, and it's about time. Hard to believe from the first 10 minutes of this match that Antonsen would be sat here at 5-1 down before that rally. In the third. Such was that dominance at the start. And that's a more confident looking Dane. Light warning from the umpire. Celebrating in your opponent's face. Not uh, looked upon too favourably. Great defence. Anderson looks at the referee, wondered if he was going to get told off again for celebrating. Funny old rule that in uh, badminton. Thank you. 
Well, there was a look there from Anderson. As he skipped forwards here to retrieve the shuttle. Directly at his opponent. Oh, he didn't quite catch it on the replay. Fine margins, trying to disguise that drop shot. Racket skills coming into play. Both men opting against taking the shuttle early and trying to upset the footwork patterns. Terrific battle at the net. The result inevitable. Seven, six. I think just once in the whole match we've seen Wasanabe come out on top in the midcourt. Antonsen's too good with the drive. <laughs> Feathers flying off the shuttle. Brilliant. What a shot. Awkward looking landing here from Antonson as he tries to recover. Oh, he just, <laughs> he just tripped. What's the first time these two have been to a third game decider? Last time out, Antonsen in straight games. It was close. Quarter final at uh, eight, the eight. Spanish Masters in Madrid. A few more ranking points here this week. Super 500 event here at the Arctic Open. Oh. And I think some degree of tension, just like in the women's singles. Two best players in the world right now, Axelsson and Viditsan, both out of the event, either withdrawn or retired. A really good chance. Well, I would have said for Axelsson, but uh, for Antonsen, but for both of these two, really. Semi-final lineup tomorrow. Kantasuniyama against Unseyong. And it's Lee Zijie waiting for the result of this one. in English from Watanabe. No real intent. Smash. Oh. 
Watanabe's defence. Tested and measured. And the fist raised, brilliant, from the Japanese. Terrific control at the net. <laughs> Into a 64th minute. <laughs> Plenty of energy left in the legs of both men. and can't find a winner again, this time. Watched it all the way. Then nine. Hey. Oh. <laughs> oh. Terrific smash cross. <laughs> Finds the line, what an arty. attack from Antonsen in the uh, opening game. Just a bit too passive on occasions. Games two and three, that's better. Well, there's nothing in it. Players change ends for the final time. Halfway through this decider, Antonsen with the narrowest advantage. So half a game left to decide our fourth semi-finalist. A quite unbelievable turnaround after what we witnessed in the opening game. Rally. 
Oh, he's found it. Antonsen. The double action cross lift. Got the height just right over his opponent's head. Terrific again in the mid-court. Oh. And he's on the humps now, Antonsen. A bit more intensity, a bit more pace on these shots. And four straight points. The most in the game so far. Oh. Excellent backhand. and looking confident leaving this made a mistake Clever variation in attack. And that cross slice winner is a great example. We had straight smashes, cross slices, punch clears, all sorts in that rally. Terrific end. And Antonsen finally, with a bit of daylight between them. Unfazed, doesn't he? What's an Abi though? 11. Underdog from the start and still fighting. <laughs> Clever from Anders. The rapid skills, making his opponent late with this net shot, sets up that smash. Whilst that was excellent, I don't think even he would believed he would have missed that one. Five points needed, five points clear. Same again, this time Koki survives the onslaught. And it's better from Watanabe in the midcourt. Don't engage with Antonsen, go over his head. Play soft, great net shot. Oh. And a big smile with the fist pump.
Take a look. Well, for all the pace and power, they've got great touch as well. and outstretched lifts just a touch short Small slip here in lap control. Let's take a look. No, I think he was just uh, edging backwards. Another change of shuttle, 13-17. Play. Watanabe not yet down and out. on the way through. Watanabe's block then sat on the tape. Just fell back. Seemed to sit there for an age. Seventy-five minutes gone. Variation not quite as threatening as it was earlier. I think uh, Antonsen's getting used to the pace and again forcing Watanabe into a mid court fight and again coming out on top. 19 40. Two points from that semi-final berth. Inching closer, Antonsen. Staying patient, Anton. 
Robinson, he's seen a way through. Well, I sense a bit more relief than victory celebrations. He did it the hard way, but he's done it, and that's all that matters. What a fight back from Koki Watanabe, by the way. These are the final moments. Opting for a bit of patience here instead of the straight attack. Maybe it was that variation that caught Watanabe off guard. But it was entertaining and it took 78 minutes. 21 9, 22 24, 21 14. We've got one. Quarter final remaining, more Danish action. The men's doubles, Kim Astrup and Anna Skarp Rasmussen, the number four seeds. They're up against the Olympic champions, though, Li Yang and Wang Chilin. That's coming up in a few moments. Steadily through the order of play here on quarterfinals day inside the Energia Arena. And we've got one left, the men's doubles. Silver medalists at the World Championships recently, Kim Astrup and Anas Rasmussen. And they're up against the Olympic champions from Taipei, Li Yang and Wang Chi Lin. Well, the two seeded pairs in this section made it through. And then it all went wrong towards the quarterfinal stages. 